What is up you guys, it's boy Matthew and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna make this probably an April slash May favorites video. I have some clothes, some lifestyle items that I've been feeling recently. Before I get into it, if you feel so inclined, go ahead and follow me on all my social media. I will leave a card on screen. Without further ado, let's get into the items as well as just stuff I've been feeling recently. So, um, earlier in the month of April here, I went on a quick trip to Gainesville for my cousin's birthday, but there was a Nike outlet down the street and I got some cool items. So let's roll those Nike outlet clips right now. Out of this entire wall, Calypso Roshi's 50 bucks. Flame, still not gonna buy them, but this is an OG colorway if you guys remember these. Extra 20% off, I bought these at the Pines outlet and then I found the red one, so like 18 or 20% off and I found these cool black tech, pant, tech pack pants for 30. Medium, but we're gonna see if we can make them work. The jacket's hard. So the shorts will be like 15 bucks and the pants will come down to, what, 20, $23? Look at this cactus plant flea market. Oh, I'm copping 10,000%, yo. All right guys, so as far as items, I have two items that I picked up. The first one is a pair of red Nike Aeroswift shorts. This is the racing variant. I'm a beautiful pair of shorts. I have three pairs. I have a blue one as well as a purple, now the red one. Retail on these are $80. I picked this up for about $15, which is an absolute steal. Personally, I love the length, short shorts for life. Um, shows off the legs, lets the, the thigh the thigh tattoo pop out a little bit. But honestly, for working out, these are absolutely beautiful. Great range of motion, and I think if you guys are like cool with it, you guys should get into some short shorts. I feel like a lot of people look down on short shorts because like they aren't comfortable with themselves, but you know your boy got the short shorts on lock. Let's move on to the main item from the Nike outlet, which I was actually surprised to see. This is the Cactus Plant Flea Market and Nike Jersey. This was part of their Go Flea collaboration, which featured like six items. Now, each one of the items were based on some sort of sporting events. They had some like motorcycle pants, some hockey jerseys, and this is their take on a runner's bib. So first of all, it's a gray mesh jersey. There are some like gray panels under the arm, but for the most part, the front features the a runner's bib. It has like the Nike puff print as well as some people running, and it features a 955 on the front. Not too sure if that re uh, resembles anything, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it also features a center swoosh embroidered right under the neckline, which absolutely fits amazing, in my opinion. On the back, it features the Go Flea puff print as well with another person running. So very reminiscent of a marathon type piece. Um, retail on this was $100, and actually when it dropped on sneakers, I had the chance to buy it, but I figured I don't need it. Um, but I actually got this for like $80 because it had 20% off at the outlet. This is a size large. It fits a little bit oversized, but it's going to be a chill long sleeve that I'm just going to wear throughout the summer. So yeah, let's move on. So we're coming back. Um, local business here. Shout out K Rico Coffee. First of all, banger coffee shout out osai for putting me on to that but they sent well they sent over a cool shirt one of their new designs that i feel like you guys should definitely check out um something about um this shirt resembles everything i love in a graphic tee first off i want to talk about the tee itself it's a heather gray tee and if you know me the heather gray forward slash oatmeal color palette is absolutely beautiful now as far as design language goes it features a small logo on the left chest peak placement 
and it has a giant logo on the back. Same exact logo, but it looks beautiful. The logo itself says K Rico Coffee as well as some coffee based drinks on the front and the same thing on the back. Why did you have to call me in the middle of my video? As I was saying, small logo on the left chest, big back logo, super sick tea. If you guys are ever in the Hollywood Beach area, check out K Rico Coffee. Um, super sick tea, shout out the homies over at K Rico. You guys are the best. Now, moving on to some accessories here. We're gonna talk about these glasses. In the past few videos, I've been talking about how they're crooked or things of that nature. That's cause they're broken. To an extent, I've sat on them twice and I slept with them, so they're like twisted and all that. But these glasses are from Thomas Meyer. This is like a nice, like aqua teal green type colorway. Um, but of course, they're broken, and I'm not trying to spend too much on another pair of glasses because frames and like lenses are expensive. So I got a another pair here. I put a poll up on my Instagram a while ago with two different versions, um, but it comes in a beautiful brown leather case on the inside here we're just going to talk about it this is like the gray marbled version so it's the exact same pair of glasses so what i'm going to do is just pop out the lenses of these and throw them on here but another awesome pair of glasses if you guys i feel like thomas meyer is a brand that's kind of um slept on at one point i believe he was the creative director of bottega veneta but um Thomas Meyer glasses, sick. The final item here is something I pre-ordered in October and finally showed up. This is the Linkin Park Funko Pop Hybrid Theory collaboration. Um, I don't know if I gotta say anything about this. If you guys know me, you know I'm a huge fan of Linkin Park, i.e. The, the thigh tat, but Hybrid Theory Funko Pop, I don't even need to talk about this. This, is, this speaks for itself, it's amazing. But as far as that goes, guys, that has been this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And turn on that bell notification icon so you know when I drop another video. Till the next time I see you guys face to face, it's been your boy Matthew. Take it easy. Stay safe. Peace.